All right, so today I'm going to do a review of a portable sauna that I bought on Amazon. I believe it's called a du Durherm or Duotherm or something like that. Looks like there's a bunch of them that are kind of obviously imported from China because this comes from Blue Wave, which isn't the company that I bought it from, but I thought, you know, what the hell. Maybe it'll still work for what I need. I just want to detox heavy metals and do some local sauna treatments uh, without having to spend, you know, thousands of dollars for a wooden box sauna, or at least that's why I bought this thing. But now after doing a little bit more research, I was a little hesitant to use it because it's probably going to be high in EMFs. I didn't know that for sure when I bought it, but now I have a set of EMF meters um, and we'll be able to test it. So no more speculation. We'll actually find out for sure. And hopefully it'll still be a good solution because I really need a portable sauna that I can take with me uh, when I go to Maine and still continue my sauna treatments so that I'm not locked into a physical location to, um... okay, I've never put one of these together before. So, looks like that's the top. This just flips up like so. This is pretty easy, actually. Oh, I see. Okay. So it just zips together like that. Um, This is. Maybe I should look at the instructions, huh? This side up. Zipper to get in. So what's the foil thing for? Well, I don't know. My biggest concern is um the EMFs, because I don't want to be in a closed environment that zaps the hell out of you. Um, this is obviously... Oh, this is for the floor. Duh. Oh, no. Okay. So we've got our EMF panels back there. I can't really see them. If there's a way to unzip those, I would like to inspect the actual heating element. It looks like it's just a plastic red um, dealio. We've got our controls and the power supply. So this probably isn't going to test well. I didn't realize this was right here next to your body. Um, it's not very... Based on what I've tested so far, that's probably not going to test that well. Um, I just want to find out if this thing is safe. So let's see, power, 150, 30 minutes, foot heat, start. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's where we're at. We'll see if this stuff gets rolling. And let's see, in the meantime, I'm gonna get the meters going. I know you guys see a lot of people with tri-field meters running around, but we've got, uh... okay, so that panel is heating up a little bit. I don't feel much out of the foot pads, but that's fine. Okay, so to start with, we've got a acoustometer to test for RF. I don't expect there to be any RF here. We've got a triple axis Alpha Labs UHS-2 Gauss meter. We've got a Cornet ED88T. We're gonna put that on Gauss, and we'll put the tri-field on magnetic. And I'll run the RF meter just for good measure. I don't expect to find anything. So we'll start out with, actually what I should do is unplug everything. What no one does is checks for ambient levels first. <clears throat> so the first thing that you need to do is establish ambient levels. So we've got 0.7, which isn't the fault of the sauna. It's something in this room um, that has nothing to do with the sauna. So you could subtract 0.7 from any of the measurements that we see from here on out. Um, 
Oh shit, to turn this back on. Power, 150, 30 minutes, foot heat, start. Okay, um, I was detecting a little bit of EMF from this. Uh, we've got three and a half. But I really wouldn't worry about this. This is momentary. Um, it was just weird that it was there. So we'll let this thing start to heat up a little bit. And then I'll probably have to grab the camera off the tripod to show you guys this. Um, I hate those videos where you can't actually see the meters, you know, and you're just kind of like trusting the person. Holy shit. So we're at 20 milligauss just inside. Uh, on the triple axis, we're at five right here where they are, six here, and then nine minus four would be five. So that's four or five across the board on all three meters. So the average is not good. Um, we've got 57 milligauss, 41. This is not good. There's no way in hell I'm gonna use this thing. Let me, um, let me grab the camera off of the tripod and take you guys in here. Oh, let's see. Okay. So right at the door, we've got six and a half. We have three. We have 10. It's a little high. Um, and then as we come in here, we've got 42. We've got 37, we've got 30, that's not good. Up here we've got 60 something, and at the bottom we've got 20s. Yeah, that's not good, not good at all. I would say that this particular sauna is not really safe. Um, that's gonna be right on your feet, even taking into account a fall off rate. I mean, we're still 10 or more but your feet are actually gonna touch that, which is pretty bad. All the meters are kind of showing bad. Um, what I would be most worried about is the back, this piece here being 70, 65 milligauss. Um, I'm trying to make it so you guys can read that. It's not 3.4, it would be 34, and that would be 50 plus. Um, yeah, there's no way in hell that I'm going to use this thing for any length of time. Um, sorry guys, I thought this was going to be a good, um, or at least a better review. Uh, I'm not going to use this. I wouldn't recommend anybody buying this. I think this is the Dewar Herm. Also, obviously it's from Blue Wave, so I wouldn't buy one of these 